Breaking news, Liverpool fans, Michael Edwards might be returning to the club, and Xabi Alonso is the front runner for the job, but they might not secure the services of Xabi at Anfield. There's no guarantee that Xabi Alonso comes. His contract obviously runs until 2026, but there's a lot of interesting wrinkles to these kind of news stories coming out. We got reports from Paul Joyce, David Orenstein, uh, Christian Falk in Germany, and there's a lot to dissect here. So let's just start with Michael Edwards because from all the reporting right now, the key kind of narrative that's being pushed is that Liverpool first wants to figure out their sporting structure moving forward. They want to figure out what the plan is. And Michael Edwards has been at the forefront of that. Since Jurgen Klopp announced he was going to leave about a month, a month and a half ago, we had Mike Gordon, who's in charge of Liverpool's committee to find a new manager and to you know effectively serve as fsg's person in this recruitment of sporting directors managers etc well mike gordon immediately after the news had kind of come out he went forward and kind of pitched the idea to michael edwards but michael edwards you know he had just started you know a new company ludo knock Nautics, Ludo Nautics, yeah, Ludo Nautics, sports consultancy company that he and Ian Graham, former uh, director of research at Liverpool, had launched last September. So he he had like kind of mixed feelings towards it, uh, but apparently the holdup might be that Michael Edwards wants entire sporting control of the club in the sense that he could pick the manager that's going to come in. Obviously, not only Xabi Alonso is a candidate, but amongst him, you have the likes of Ruben Amarim of Sporting, and you have Julian Nagelsmann, who obviously is German national team coach, which would be a little bit of a trickier transition, you know, out of the Euros into a preseason. Not a lot of time to rest. But there's a lot of reporting from Paul Joyce, even on Michael Edwards. Michael Edwards, according to Paul Joyce, is seeking total control of the football operations the athletic they're a bit more kind of they're saying that maybe some stake in fsg could work too in the sense that you know the only other person that fsg have afforded this opportunity toward is lebron james and while lebron james is you know this figurehead who can you know he's obviously going to be able to guide you into brand new ventures, possibly an NBA team, possibly this, possibly that, you know, an NFL team, maybe like it, it's the possibilities with LeBron James are endless, but the possibilities with Michael Edwards are equally as endless. This man has made, you know, gold at Anfield with limited supplies. Another distinction, according to the athletic article is the fact that according to them, Liverpool are, you know, an FSG, they're looking for somebody who can do a lot with a little in the sense that Amarim and Xabi Alonso, they haven't spent, you know, extravagantly to the degree of some managers, but at the end of the day, um, you know, they, they are, uh, they're managers who can get the most out of a squad, right? They're managers who are effectively seemingly man managers to me. Amarim very much so Xabi, it seems like it as well. And obviously getting involved in the training sessions for Leverkusen, that's obviously a big plus. The biggest thing for Xabi is the fact that he is, uh, you know, he's a former Liverpool player. He's somebody who knows the city. He knows the culture of the club. That's why he's at the top of the short list. That's why he's more than likely going to get appointed, uh, you know, FSG president, Mike Gordon. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he's the president, Mike Gordon. Not He's effectively the head of the committee as well. But the the news of the sporting director being announced somewhat soon uh they want somebody by early march um that leads me to believe probably within the next couple weeks we'll have an update as to whether or not it is michael edwards but all this news coming out just kind of sets me in a position where i'm almost confident that somebody's going to get announced will it be michael edwards maybe you know there's no guarantees but the prospect of Liverpool 
Liverpool 2.0, however you want to call it, post Klopp era Liverpool. Liverpool can have both Michael Edwards, who is you know proven with the likes of you know he signed Salah. He's he suggested the signings rather I should say towards Klopp, and then the signatures and the transfers were then concluded. But Salah, Mane, Robertson, Van Dijk, Fabinho, Allison. And he sold Benteke, Sacco, and Jordan Ibe for tons of money. Tons of players that were sold by him that were sold for ridiculous prices. You know, to teams that, no offense, I mean, we kind of fleeced them. Uh, it He's just a very shrewd transfer tactician. He knows the market. He knows how to recruit players. He knows, most importantly, how to find the best fit for a manager system. He is... You know, he was linked to Real Madrid, for God's sakes. Madrid, Real Madrid wanted him. Last year, there was reports, didn't end up materializing. Chelsea, obviously, they were looking forward towards him as well. He didn't go towards Chelsea. I think he genuinely has an affinity for the club. And whatever previous kind of, I guess, issues may have caused his departure, it seems like they're kind of, you know, coming to a halt it's not i don't know if the falling out means that it came on the end of like edwards to fsg or Klopp to edwards or just the general lack of i guess financial firepower that was at hand you know just year on year on year having to do that um you know it's it's tough to say i mean edwards is Honestly, somebody I have a great amount of admiration for. You know, he's only he only left back in May 2022, so it would be like a two-year departure. But even though there were some great signings under Jorg Schmatka, Watar Wendo, Alexis McAllister, um, Dominic Subasli, Ryan Gravenberch, fantastic signings will fit the mold. I still feel like a lot of those players would have, you know, ticked off a lot of boxes on Edwards kind of uh bucket list. I I don't think that Edwards will come in with like a hatchet and just like dismantle the squad. I think he'll move on players that I guess are on the fringes and just kind of aren't expected to play a huge part in the squad moving forward. Admittedly it's a tough kind of picture to imagine because of the fact that Liverpool has a rather, I guess, thin squad. Obviously a lot of Academy prospects coming up now like some McConnell, uh, Clark, Kwanzaa, Kumas, uh, Dan's, Bradley, obviously. The list goes on and on for the talented young surplus. But I mean, you know, you, you just don't know. I mean, with any player in the squad, they're all going to react slightly differently. Some people might think, you know, maybe there is a move away from me. Maybe my time at the club has is coming to an end and then there's also people who are gonna be like no i mean i'm i'm here and i want to stay here and i want to continue to contribute and i think that it's just gonna end up being a bit of a case-by-case basis there might be some players who get extended some players who get you know effectively let go i would imagine tiago has played his last minutes for liverpool news came out recently as well that he he uh had suffered an injury setback and also just like a rumor that I don't really want to address, but just since we're already on topic of people going, just like an example, uh, not to say that this player will go because I think that this player is still fantastic. Still could play for a few years at the top, top level without a doubt. Andy Robertson is linked to a move to Bayern. Bayern apparently interested in bringing in Robertson. I don't know. It's a weird it's a weird kind of move. I don't know if I'd really like it uh, for either of them. Obviously, I wouldn't like it from my perspective. Um, in the sense that I'm a Liverpool fan, I'd love for Robertson to retire a red. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, if say somebody like that, Andrew Robertson, a player who's played under Klopp, has played a big bulk of his career realistically at this point, the majority of his career, he's got like maybe one big move in him. Who knows if he'll stay? Who knew, who knows if he'll go? Gomez has played at left back. Simikas has played at left back. There's definitely some youngsters coming through, and there's always, you know, 
competition. I mean, he's in my eyes the best left back in the world. There's and if you don't agree with me with that, he's definitely in the conversation for it without a doubt. So somebody like that could always maybe move just on the basic situation of their career at Liverpool, you know, could be a question mark. So that thought could already kind of develop into, you know, because obviously it's a very public situation. The fact that Liverpool's, you know, moving on from Klopp and Klopp's leaving and there's all this kind of stuff going on. So like an example could be, say, Robertson's agent being contacted by Bayern, et cetera, et cetera. Not to harp on it. I know I already kind of have there for a bit, but point being, I think that genuinely there's a very, very good chance that this could end up the situation where we get Alonso, we get Edwards. But at the end of the day, I feel like even under that kind of leadership, I suppose, I don't know if a lot of the players would be tempted to leave because, I mean, we're doing great right now and a transition like that could be fantastic because you've got two people, two frames of kind of reference to the club. You know, you have Edwards who has brought success with signing a lot of these players who joined Liverpool and definitely has probably personal relationships with the likes of Salah, Roberts, and Van Dyke, Allison, uh, and they probably won't be too upset to see a familiar face like that. And then Alonso, I mean, the Liverpool legend, he's going to know the the standard that is set for the club. And I think the players obviously will really just command respect for the sake of being Xabi Alonso. So there's just a lot of really interesting stuff. Obviously, Amarim, the alternative second choice, and probably Nagelsmann, the third. Other managers also were mentioned that I really think... The Zerbian Howe and even Lenz's Frank Heise, I think they're all not really realistic options at this point in the sense that they'll be on the list, but will they be on the final shortlist? Nah, that's that's never been my thought process. I don't think they ever will be kind of front runners, I guess, in this race. Um, no offense to any of them. I just think that they're a touch removed from maybe the standard and also the culture at Liverpool. And while this is all the case, you know, obviously I'm very open about wanting Xabi Alonso. I would welcome him with open arms. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to back the manager. I'm going to back the sporting director, whoever it is. Fingers crossed on Alonso and Edwards. Alonso and Edwards 2024. What a beautiful ticket for Liverpool fans that. So, Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below your thoughts on who might sign for Liverpool in terms of, well, not sign, who might join Liverpool in terms of sporting director, manager. Do you think it is going to be Michael Edwards? Do you think he'll end up going to appoint Xabi Alonso or Amarim or Nagelsmann or any of the managers I mentioned in this video? Obviously, times are changing. It's kind of still surreal every video i make it's hard to process even the fact that i'm talking about jurgen klopp leaving but let's make it a good end to his time at liverpool with some more trophies carabao cup down one down four to go thank you so much liverpool fans who made it this far and any and all fans if you're new to the channel consider subscribing i mean you made it this far in the video might as well stop by for some more football news in the future thank you so much for watching like the video if you enjoyed comment down below with your thoughts and I'm Sideline Sato. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.